Hi, and welcome back to Fager's Island. While we were away, we found another ingredient that was special and unique and inspired us to create something new. That ingredient is ancho reyes, ancho chili liqueur. For those of you familiar with Mexican cuisine, you've probably heard of an ancho pepper before. An ancho pepper is just a dried poblano pepper. The poblano is allowed to stay on the vine, ripen, and turn red. Once this happens, it's harvested, dried, and becomes an ancho pepper. Ancho peppers are known for their rich, smoky flavor, sweet to medium heat, and a mild paprika note. All that flavor is packed into this bottle of ancho reyes and inspired us to create the South of the Border. Let's get started. The South of the Border cocktail is a balancing act between sweet and heat. And there's no better ingredient to start that balancing act with than tequila. The tequila that we chose is Casamigos Añejo. It has a nice vanilla and caramel note, but still finishes with that peppery tequila kick. We're gonna add one ounce of that. Now the nice thing about this ingredient is that it adds a perceived sweetness, but doesn't really add any sugar. That'll come later. All right, now for the ancho reyes. Now while being packed with all that beautiful ancho pepper flavor, it starts out as a neutral cane syrup spirit. So it also brings sweet and heat. So we're gonna add one ounce of that. Now for the sugar. There's also an opportunity to bring some heat here as well. And any of you have ever tried that spoonful of cinnamon challenge know that cinnamon has a lot of heat to it. So we're gonna use cinnamon simple syrup. And I'll add to that. Now we need to tie it all together with some citrus. So an ounce of lime juice. Give that a quick stir. And we're ready for the glass. We couldn't pass up the opportunity to bring some heat and sweet here as well. So we're gonna rim it with a mixture of ancho powder and sugar. Then for S and G's, why not add one sweet drop pepper? And there you have it, the south of the border. Enjoy.